I say I, the Mr. Stevie Wonder, you please mention your name. So I? I, Steve Lynn Morris. Swear solemnly. Swear solemnly. Sincerely. Sincerely. And truly declare and affirm. And truly declare and affirm. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to, the Republic of Ghana. to the Republic of Ghana. And I will preserve, and I will preserve protect, and, protect and, defend and defend the Constitution, the Constitution of, the Republic of, Ghana. of the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, sir. Yes, why am I so happy about this? I am not happy because he's gotten a Ghanaian citizenship. No, I am happy because now the connection is getting tighter, if you would agree with me. Echo, echo, echo city. Can you sing this song with me? I just want to say I love you. I just want to show how much I care. Hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Thank you very much again for tuning in to my channel. I know most of you, especially like the, you know, the elderly, our elders, I know you can sing to this song beautifully, right? Because you know, do my research, I, I think this song is more than 20 years old, yes, by Steve Wonder. So today we're just going to talk about Steve Wonder here in Ghana. Now, I know you can see that my outfit, my pullover, my sweater looks uh, wet. Yes, I just got back from the rains. Uh, we're in the raining season. Yes, uh, Ghana is now experiencing a lot of rains. Yes, uh, previous like two, three months ago during the dry season, the sun was like super, super hot. And now we're getting a lot of rain. So, you know, during this time, a lot of projects are a little bit slow. Yes, because... Uh, like right now, we're building a fence for someone in a sable. And then just today when they started, if I take this camera outside, you realize like it's not even uh, 6 o'clock yet, but the weather is like cloudy, very dark, and it's raining. And it's raining right now. So we're going to talk about Steve Wonder. Yes, like I said, I know most of you will sing to this song. Now put it up as a comment. Tell me something about Steve Wonder. You know, uh, hey, Echo, I know this song. I can sing it. What's the title? No, put it up as a comment. I mean, I'm talking to my elderly people because I know uh, I'm, I'm also grown. But, you know, when we talk about like elderly, you know, like those I'm talking to you about. So last year, last two years, uh, Ghana has received and hosted a lot of African diaspora. Now, let me tell you something. I got to know about the word African diaspora like maybe four to five years ago because I used to call anybody who isn't from here. But like, I mean, the African descent, I used to call them African-American, wherever you are. I didn't know we had uh, British, black British or black Canadian. I didn't know because we we're all calling them African-Americans. And I got to know about African-Americans when I was very young. Uh, my school, Philip Kwaku Boys School, the first school in Ghana. Yes, the first school in Ghana. It was established in the castle and then later brought, you know, to town. So that is where I did my basic education. And so the castle was very closer to us. So we used to go there. I mean, I could go there and hear somebody speak English, and the English was like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, that kind of like the slurring and the slanging thing. I was like, I fell in love. That is how I fell in love with the African Americans. And then uh, I, my big brother, and some other guy, who is now the Ghana tour operator's uh, vice president, Michael Olin. So uh, we used to go to the castle when we see African Americans. We used to write our names and address on the paper, and then we give it to them. And then we say, hey, uh, Brony, Brony, write me a letter. You know, write me this, write me. I mean, that was way back. Now, like I said, five years ago, uh, Ghana has hosted a lot of African diaspora. Talk about Luda Chris, talk about um, Steve Harvey. Talk about now Steve Wonder. Talk about uh, these guys. Gabriel Union and the husband and then the kids. Uh, talk about T.I. I remember when T.I. came. He came to Cape Coast. And I was there to cover, you know, when he was dancing to the African music and everything. That was pretty nice. But today is a good news for me. I know most of you will say, Echo, I don't know what is going on. But I know because today Steve Wonder has been proudly honored with a Ghanaian citizenship. Hooray! Echo, 
A resounding round of applause, please. A resounding, the freshest and the newest Ghanaian. Thank you so much, Mr. Steve Wonder. Yes, why am I so happy about this? I am not happy because he's gotten a Ghanaian citizenship. No. I am happy because now the connection is getting tighter, if you would agree with me. Ghana, this is it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> To complete the documentation, I've also got a passport for you as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Wadamaya was in the Caribbean. I met him uh, yesterday, and the brother was telling me that, Echo, if you go to any Caribbean country right now, you feel you are in Ghana. And I watched a video uh, this lady did, Tigress. Uh, African tigress, that lady from Kenya. I think she is in uh, Haiti right now. She made a video. I was sitting there watching the video. I was like, no, this is Ghana. No, or this is Africa. Or this is just some village that I know just around the corner. Because everything looked the same. It means that our brothers and sisters, when they left, they took some of our traditions out there. So this is the reason why we need to do a lot of connections, a lot of network within Africans here on the motherland and Africans there in the diaspora. So, I mean, Stephen Wonder came, I watched the video when he was picked from the airport. You know, he still got the, the, the vibe in him because he was, you know, trying to play the African drum, you know, from those people who were welcoming him. I mean, they went to the Flagstaff house to meet the president and everything. And I just want to tell you that I'm happy that a lot of our people are getting to connect. Yes, you watch a lot of videos and some of our brothers and sisters, but hey, I'm not African, I'm not African. That is cool. That is cool with us. If you're not African, that is cool with us. I mean, looking at the New World Order, I'm an African, and I want to accept the fact that I'm an African. You're welcome to the motherland, anytime, any day. Now, this brings me to my final conclusion on this video. I'm just happy that Steve Wonder has been given uh, a Ghanaian citizenship, so he doesn't need uh, the United States passport. He will need it anyway. I mean, when he's going to places where the Ghanaian passport will need a visa, so he will need both. But I'm happy that he's made a good choice uh, to pick Ghana. Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Uh, big ups to, I mean, the president. He's doing his best. I mean, when it comes to the connection between Africans here and, and Africans in the diaspora. I think he's doing his best. He's trying to bring everybody together. And I'm thinking that this is where we need to be positive about Africans. We sometimes watch a lot of negative videos from African diaspora who come to Ghana. And just because one person or a tiny issue happened, they want to call it Ghana did this, Ghana did this. Like one uh, brother who's been making unnecessary uh, videos, uh, Go Black Africa, making unnecessary videos about Africa, about Ghana, don't buy land in Ghana, don't buy this in Ghana. If you came and you had a bad experience, that is you. Keep it yourself or know how to deal with it. But you don't go out there spewing uh, ill and negative issues about Ghana. So, hey, I'm very happy uh, Ghana is on the go. We are making an effort to bring Africans together. So let us not destroy it. And aside that, like I was saying, I think that this year I want to make my first trip to the Caribbean. I'm thinking of St. Lucia. I've been reading a little bit about it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I would want to go visit. So if you're from St. Lucia and you're watching this video right now, I don't know, just put up a comment. It's, hey, Echo, don't worry. When you come, I'll host you. And, you know, when are you coming and everything. Hey, thank you very much for checking me out, Steve Wonder. But there was a post. Let me read that post. It's coming from the Ghana Tourism Authority. And they say, big news, Steve Wonder is now a proud holder of Ghanaian citizenship. President Akufado welcomed the music legend into the Ghanaian family in a heartfelt ceremony. Steve joyfully embraced his new identity. Welcome home, Steve. So welcome home, Steve. This is from Echo Simpson, you know, representing Ghana at large, Africa at large. Peace out.